Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so here's a really cool geometry question. And the question is, what is the area of this equiangular hexagon? So this hexagon is equiangular, but clearly not equilateral. Um, and yes, it's possible to have an equiangular hexagon that's not equilateral. And equiangular means that all the angles inside this hexagon have the same measure. So this angle here is 120. This angle here is 120. This angle here is 120. Yes, each of them is 120. Um, now, this figure now drawn to scale note is there only because CD and FE both have a length of 3, but clearly CD looks a little bit bigger. Otherwise, this visual is actually pretty trustworthy. Um, and so, like, you know, for example, if you, like, made an exact copy of this figure and measured each of the angles, they're each going to measure 120 degrees. Ho hopefully, like, no one will do that. Um, hopefully, you don't have that much time in your hands, or if you do, like, have something better to do. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, how do we find the area of this equiangular hexagon is the question, right? Uh, the question that remains. And the solution is pretty inventive. It's a really clever solution. So this is my favorite part in this video, sharing the solution. So um, how about this? Extend side CD like this, right? Extend side CD like this. And then extend a couple more sides. What sides do you think? Uh, well, I think I've hinted you. What other side as far as the second side i'm going to extend so this guy right side a b is going to also be extended and finally now you should be very clued in i'm going to extend side f e and look at what's happened with these extensions i now have four triangles formed where are the four triangles well the small triangle at the top and this small triangle at the bottom left the small triangle at the bottom right and the giant triangle that houses all of them, right? So that's the fourth triangle. And my claim is all four triangles are equilateral triangles. How can I show that? Well, let's start with this small triangle at the top. I know that this angle in my hexagon is 120. So I know this angle inside the triangle is 60. Similarly, because this angle inside my hexagon is 120, I know this angle inside uh, this small triangle at the top is 60. So I've got and this small triangle at the top, 60 here, 60 here. So this third angle must also be 60. Now, this third angle here at the top is not only in this small triangle here at the top, but also inside of the giant triangle that houses um, everything in it, right? So I know then that one of the angles in the giant triangle is 60. Now, similar argument to what we just did here will show that this triangle here at the bottom left is an equilateral triangle. You want to hear it again? It's 120 inside our hexagon there, so it's 60 there. Okay, I won't actually lie. I'll spare you. So then this is 60 here, and this is 60. Now, this angle here is not only at this bottom left uh, equilateral triangle, this angle here, but also in the giant triangle that houses all of them. So now we know that two angles in the giant triangle are each 60. And so this third angle here in the giant triangle has to be 60 also. So, showing that the giant triangle is an equilateral triangle. And clearly, I argued in detail why this small triangle at the top is equilateral. And similar arguments show that this small triangle at the bottom left is equilateral. And it goes without saying that this triangle is also equilateral here at the bottom right. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, where to from here? How are we going to find the area of our um, equiangular hexagon here? Well, if you don't see it, the area of our equiangular hexagon here is the area of the largest equilateral triangle minus the area of the three equilateral triangles. And that'll leave you with exactly the area of our equiangular hexagon. So the details to that are as follows. By a video I've already made, I show that the area of an equilateral triangle with a side length of A is given by A squared root 3 over 4. This is just a good thing to remember. Like, you know, you remember a lot of other stupid stuff that you don't need to remember. So like make this one of the like, you know, more useful things you remember. I remember it off the top of my head. You can ask me anytime what's the area of an equilateral triangle and I'll tell you like, um, yeah, anyway, because <laughs> I'm cool like that. Um, so, so, so using this formula, we know that the area of the three equilateral triangles is given by this. Um, this here is one of the um, smaller uh, equilateral triangles area, 2 squared root 3 over 4, but I doubled it so that 
we've got two of them. So this guy and this guy together is two times two squared root three over four. And that's just applying this formula, right? And then plus four squared root three over four is for the area of this bottom right equilateral triangle. And so then if we simplify this a little bit more, we'll get to this, simplify it some more. We get to this a little bit more. We'll get us to this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, the area of the largest equilateral triangle, notice the largest equilateral triangle has a side length of nine because two, five, and two make nine. And you can count it any other way. You get nine either way. Yeah, so because one of its sides is nine, its area, the largest equilateral triangle is nine squared root three over four, which is 81 root three over four. And therefore, the area of our equiangular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F, I left out the E, but you get it, you get it. Um, yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, equiangular um, hexagon area is, drum roll, well, there's no drum roll, you know what to expect, 81 minus 24 and then times root 3 over 4, right? Okay, so 57 root 3 over 4, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep watching. Take care.